Today, we're going to make a super real looking Oreo cookie and cheeseburger with a slime filling, a kawaii pink kitten stress reliever from a soft slime and space stress balls. Do you love Oreos and refuse to share? Your friends will be crazy about this incredible cookie with the malleable filling. We'll need brown modeling dough that dries fast when the wrapping is removed. Shape a ball. Roll it out flat. Make a circle. Repeat for the other part of the cookie. Use a needle to imitate the Oreo pattern. Press it against the outside to get a striped edge. Extend the stripes to the top. It looks quite real. Take an empty ballpoint pen. It's an easy way to score the pattern. Scratch the logo. Add the other recognizable elements. One half of the cookie is ready. Now, repeat for the other one. Make the filling from modeling clay. It doesn't dry like the dough and keeps flexible when needed. Roll it up. Place it across the cookie edge. Cut off the excess. Join the roll ends. It nearly looks like the real Oreo, but the tint lets it down. We should improve it. Scrape some black pastel into white glue. Mix it with a flat brush. Apply to the cookie. Perfect! Now you'll hardly say it's a faux Oreo. Let it dry for 12 hours. Meanwhile, we'll make the pliable filling from slime. Pour the white glue in a glass or a cup. One ounce will be enough. Add a teaspoon of cornstarch, a couple of drops of Persil color gel. Stir well. In a couple of minutes, your malleable filling will be ready. Cut the dry cookie in half. Add the milky slime to the base. Cover and press over. Let's test the homemade Oreo. It looks exactly like the real one with the coolly stretched milky slime. You can break it and join again. Better keep the cookie in a closed container. You can substitute the filling for a new one if needed. Have you ever seen such an extraordinary cheeseburger? It looks tasty, but the ketchup can surprisingly stretch out. We'll need a foam plastic ball. Cut it in half. Place the foam rubber on parchment paper. Iron it. When heated, the foam rubber becomes flexible to shape any object. Cut off the excess. Hot glue the material to the ball half. Make neat pleats. One bun half is ready. Repeat for the second half. Make it smaller. Put it on the bottom. Place the bun on the green foam rubber. Draw a lettuce leaf. It should be a bit bigger than the bun. Cut out two identical details. Attach them to the bun. Make the bun golden brown using the orange pastel. It looks real. Apply the white glue. Sprinkle with genuine sesame seeds. It'll add the extra natural feel. Add a yellow foam rubber square. Iron the corners to create a melting cheese effect. Hot glue it to the base. Let's make the amazing ketchup. Pour some white glue. Add a pinch of soda. Use Persil color gel as a thickener. That's enough. Add a bit of red pastel. You can take food coloring or acrylic paint instead. Mix well and see the ketchup thicken up. The slime stretches perfectly. It will fit the burger just right. Make the ketchup base from the red foam rubber circles. Attach them to the bun halves. Apply the white glue to both the details. Sandwich the slime and press over. We've got a perfect cheeseburger imitation. Let's see what we can do with it. The ketchup moves and stretches and returns to its previous shape. You'd better keep it in a closed container. If the filling dries or loses its stretchability, change it for a new one. You can put the cheeseburger in the fridge and play a joke on your friend by offering a snack. The space stress ball we're going to make looks unremarkable. But as soon as you take it in your hands, the magic begins. You just need to stretch and knead it to make it glow with unbelievable color. Take about two and two thirds ounce clear school glue. 
Choose thick glue of the best quality. Add a drop of blue food coloring. Stir well until a dark saturated tint. Pour blue, white, and silver glitter. Better use the glitter of differently sized particles to make the slime look amazing. Add a few drops of borax and mix well. The substance starts thickening. You can add more borax if necessary. Put in the thickener little by little to see when you get the needed consistency. Pour some water. Thus, the space slime will be more flexible and non-sticky. It stretches quite well. Rinse it. Knead the slime in your hands. We've got the glowing royal blue tinted slime. It's like magic! We nearly forgot why we made it. We just want to keep kneading. But we should restrain ourselves and continue. So pour another portion of 2 and 2 thirds ounce clear school glue into the bowl. Add crimson food coloring and brightly colored glitter. Put in the borax. This time, let's pour water before mixing the thickener. We've managed to get the slime faster than in the first time using less borax. And the slime is more elastic than the blue one. It shimmers softly. We enjoy kneading the slimes. They don't stick to our hands. Let's make another slime to keep the company. It stretches perfectly. Cut out the top of a plastic bottle. Take a transparent balloon. Put it onto the neck of the bottle. Now, tuck the slimes into the balloon. It's easier to do it piece by piece. Alternate the colors. Be careful, the slimes can resist. The final piece and you can remove the plastic neck. Tie a knot. Cut off the excess tail. Let's see what we've got. Wow! It's incredible! It's soft and smooth, changing the color when stretched. You'll feel your stress fade away while you need the stress ball. Another stress reliever will bring you even more joy and happiness. Let's make a lovely pink kitten. Put about 10 to 14 ounces of cornstarch in the bowl. Add a tablespoon of body milk or cream. Four tablespoons of the white glue. Keep in mind the glue should be thick and of high quality. Add some acrylic paint for the tint. Mix well. Add some water while mixing. We should get a thick, smooth mixture. Put in a half teaspoon of dish soap, some borax, and water. Stir with a spoon first, then knead with your hands. We've got big and soft slime. It stretches well and doesn't stick to our hands. But we again turned aside. The slimes are so addictive! We need a heart-shaped balloon of the average size. Fill it with the pink slime. Tie a knot. Inside the balloon, the slime will keep soft for a long time. We've got a pink stress reliever, shaped small ears. If we draw the face, the plain stress reliever will turn into a funny kitten. Take a permanent marker and draw the eyes. Don't forget the light reflections to animate the kitten. Add the nose and the mouth. And the amusing kitten's face is ready. Add a few eyelashes. This kawaii little kitten will cheer you up every day. It will make funny faces and widen its eyes. It's soft and smooth. You'll relieve your stress each time you take it in your hands. And finally, the slime looking like a pretty alien. It'll take a little time to make it. Pour the clear school glue into the bowl. Take about three and a half ounces. Add a drop of yellow food coloring, some borax, and water. This recipe works perfectly. In a couple of minutes, a transparent yellow slime is ready. Take two balloons of contrasting colors. Cut out small holes in one balloon. Choose the thick one to avoid tearing when stretched. Fold another balloon in this way. Tuck it into the perforated balloon. It'll look like this. Put both balloons onto the plastic bottle neck. Tuck the slime inside, all of it. Tie a knot. Cut off the excess. It's so lovely and unique, changing its shape in a peculiar manner. We hope you enjoyed watching our experiments today. 
the real looking Oreo cookie with the incredible stretchy filling, the tasty looking cheeseburger with the secret ketchup, the space stress balls, and a cute pink kitten stress reliever. Write in your comments which slime you liked the most. Join us and subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. Click the bell and Troom Troom will make a new cool video especially for you.